I got this question about the video of titled as like communists are brave brainwashing American citizens and trying to infiltrate American soil with this and KGB is blamed for everything of course you have to understand for God's sake as a Russian I am listening to it and just uh, I know laughing so you want to say that here in Russia, we live in shitty conditions of capitalism. We experience in capitalistic um, and liberal, of course, brainwashing machine, which have nothing to do with communism. Uh, not communism, but communistic ideology, which was in place until 1985, which have literally nothing to do and it's just like opposite of the of that things that was preached for us until 1985 and you trying to convince american people that this is what's happening in united states right now in you in uh, american schools in american colleges and american universities have something to do with communism you're trying to convince people that kgb which doesn't exist for 30 years, years already, uh, whose actives was not that they was terminated, but they pretty much went to business, business, capitalistic business, you know, and they making money right now. If you look at our president, he is KGB agent, let's say functioner or how to say how it called in your he wasn't agent he was just i don't know normal clerk and people like this is ru uh, ruling our country today ruling from the business side of things not from the political side of things because you just need to understand who is our ministers today who is our um, senators today and who rule in our country and how we live in and after this you wouldn't be so sure that we live in communism and uh, uh, promoting communism to United States 30 years has passed since KGB died was eliminated I don't know how it said 30 years has passed none of what happening in United States is caused by non-existent KGB uh, non-existent communist party of Russia which was the only communist party which can do something today uh, changes that happening in China is absolutely 100% capitalistic their economy is capitalistic their own private their economy privately owned let's say they have private property etc 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 everything you see today in united states this communization and socialization of your education system its response on what is going on in your country your system of education was shit long before uh, collapse of USSR long before USSR become a thing since 1950s your system of education turned to shit because United States government don't need uh, smart people they need specialists specialists in their area if you look outside your area you have no understanding whatsoever what is going on today and I clearly see that American people as a specialist, as a person who doing something in his own area of stuff, even if you are, you know, uh, how is it, jack, jack, jack of all trades, you working with your hands mostly, right? And if you're trying to work with, the, with your brain, trying to get into politics, econo economy, uh, economics, and you're trying to get some uh, low information about your activities, you will, you will be uh, like baffled. What is going on? What the hell is happening right now? 
So you're trying to American propaganda today trying to blame non-existent uh, Communist Party KGB. Let's say KGB that was ruled by non non-existent for today Communist Party in. Uh, that comes from the country that 35 years ago turned to capitalism, uh, changed, changed, um, like say, approach of elite to capitalistic, and since then never came back to communist. And I just simply wonder who is sponsoring this, who is paying the fucking money. It's most important thing of all, who paying the fucking money. There is no person in Russia who would openly going to pay someone who going to ruin United States economy. There is no communist in Russia that have money enough to pay for such activities. It's very important question. You, you, you love money. You love to count in money. So tell me, please. Who paying? Where's the money came from? Putin Putin is a fucking capitalist dictator. Therefore, he, he have no interest in this. And I can tell you this for sure because I'm feeling how he, uh, what he is doing in my country. And I know better. Putin and all the government of Russia is capitalistic dictatorship more or less have nothing to do with communism whatsoever who paying for this it's very important question who in control who are paying where the money came from today russian today's russian communist which i am um, which i um, Send censorship, censorship sucks too. It's people who live on donations. They doing their everyday jobs to just get along. You, th you really think that these people are able to pay for uh, underground work in United States and never been found and open and uh, like I don't know opened by FBI or CIA? Really? Dudes, do you even understand how these fucking things work? It's 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 not like that I know. You must be special kind of stupid to believe to even and uh, to even try to consider this idea that KGB was a communist um branch that until now controlling the world and destabilize uh, creating destabilization in united states it's 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 demand to be a special kind of stupid to believe that uh, branch that 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 branch that intelligence agency that does not exist for 30 years that was pretty much destroyed 30 years ago destroyed really destroyed i've seen that i know what's what's happened the, the, in that time and you really believe that something that was destroyed 30 years ago today is still working it's still just a bit like dude you need to be a special kind of stupid how, how george george carlin said this guy, this guy is fucking stupid. Well, well, you all fucking stupid if you really believe in such idea. This is socialization and communization of your country be happening because your economy turned into shit. That's all. As soon as your fridge get empty. People suddenly start to realize where the problem lies in reality. All problems came from economy. When people have nothing to eat, they rebel. That's pretty much simple to understand. It has nothing to do with indoctrination and brainwashing. But it has all to do with American propaganda machine and brainwashing from American government, from American intelligence agencies, who brainwashing 
your brain, who who washing your brains to the point where you believe that something that doesn't exist for 30 years is working, is how? Uh, no, um, st sorry, st stupidity is just make me mad. If if people say something obvious, some some obviously stupid things, I'm just getting, I just lost lost my temper. I can't, I can't just be. I, I don't know. You saying stupid things, such a stupid things, and you believe in them? How? How? Why? Ah, my brain is going to blow. How you can believe in such idiotism?